this three inch fly circles around the new Emacs Hawk something. Hey guys, it's Phil with another video. This one also toothpick themed again as I've uh, got something new to share. So I've uh, been having a lot of fun with the toothpick. Uh, I do have a couple updates here. Uh, this is a bit heavier than my initial one. I am now running the Cadex EOS 2 camera. I'm running a uh, TBS Nano Unify VTX in there, so it's a little bit heavier. I also have a, uh, a ca capacitor in there. I think it's a 470, so it's a, a pretty large capacitor for this size of a quad, but uh, it's working out well. Um, still enjoying it. Not loving the Pyrodrone props. I've had them fly off. Uh, they're a little loose on these motors. I'm not sure if the Pyrodrone or the Hyperlite branded motors are maybe the shafts are slightly thicker so they fit a little tighter on there. Not sure. Um, so I think I still mostly am enjoying the A-bands. Um, one that one thing that's nice with this setup now even though it's a little heavier is that it's less prone to um, vibrations and interference things like that so i've been getting some good video uh, lately from it and uh, mostly on the avans as well as the azures as well so uh, that's the toothpick and you guys have seen i've had some videos recently on my toothpick hd which is flying great been having a lot of fun with it getting some good videos uh, going to some interesting places to fly it where it's uh, quiet and um, not very intimidating. It's, you know, about 90 grams. And um, so this has been working out really well. But I've been wanting something kind of right in between the two, which is this guy. So I'm calling him the Toothpick 3 Racer. So I'm calling him that uh, because that's the kind of the main focus of this guy is, is racing. So it's a similar build as the HD, uh, except that it's not running the HD camera. Um, you know, a split or a Cadex. What it's doing is it's using the new RunCam Racer Nano, and uh, that's working quite well. I'll show some video here shortly, and. Um, so this is also running the 1304 motor from uh, RCX, uh, but I do have the GEP RC 1206s on the way as I want to try those. Uh, these are plenty fast. This quad is fast um, and, and it's quiet. I'm going to show you some sound level comparisons as well as some flight video uh, of how it flies. It is 74 grams. So uh, dry weight and it's running 3S. And so I was happy with how light that came out. Uh, was able to save about 15 um, grams compared to the HD version. And this thing flies quite well. Um, got the angle there pretty good. I, I think I might cut out a little bit of this canopy and maybe make it so I can angle it a little bit more. But it's been a lot of fun to fly. It's fast. Uh, want to do a little bit more racing with it and so let's check out some video and here i have it flying in 20 mile an hour winds uh, practicing some 2019 multi-gp qualifier elements it flew quick got around the course nice uh, able to hit some weird angles like right here through this gate where barely squeezed in because of its size uh, but it uh, flies the uh, track pretty well. While we're watching me fly around, I'm going to give you the comparison of the sounds of the toothpick versus this. All right, first up, we have the toothpick. Next up, we have the toothpick three inch race. I love it. 
It's fast. It's as quiet as the toothpick. I can rip it around the park, but also kind of keep up with the five inches out there on the racetrack. I'll put the uh, list of the components in the description. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.